What up? Hi. You catch some fish? Yeah. Big fish, little fish, lots of fish? Uh-huh. You bet. Yeah, you're tall enough. Go for it. Atta babe. Woo! It's busy out here today. Anyways, myself, Max Attack, two rods, one for each of us, one box to tackle. We got some bait, and Max has a very important piece. He has the live well action. So what we're doing is we're down at a little local, as you can tell, inner city spillway. Right down there that we fished at many times before. Except every time I've fished here before, it's been for bass or catfish. Today, we're gonna catch as many little panfish, the smallest little microfish as possible, using some live bait. We brought some night crawlers. We're gonna do something with those. I'm not gonna tell you quite yet, but some of them might end up being food. Some of them might end up being pets. I don't really know yet, but we're gonna keep like as many as possible because there is so freaking many down here and you're probably gonna like in a little bit what we do with them. How's it going up there, Chief? I think it'll probably be the spillway about four hours at this point. Well, Five hours? Tub. Yeah, that looks like a heavy tub. You make Tupperware a lot heavier these days than you think, huh? You know how I can make this heavy? Heavy? Ow. All right, we'll catch you guys in about six hours when we get down to the spillway. Oh yeah, that's where we want to be. It's coming in today. Someday, he will be here. Come on, Timmy! I don't know if you guys can see this, but you can see their backs in the water down there. They are like thick bluegill and crappie. It's gonna be a good time. All right, before we do anything, I think we need to fill that guy up with water because I have a pretty good feeling we're gonna catch some of those really quick. I don't know how many we're gonna keep, but let's get some water going in that, dude. We get as much in there as we can. Sweet, decent amount. Yep. It'll be good for our little tiny fish. Okay, I lied to you guys. We're not using night crawlers. We're using red worms. You guys have seen the same box probably in like 72 videos because they last forever. I don't do a whole lot of live bait fishing these days. Max, I'll warm you up first. We're gonna pinch him off, little tiny piece. Where did it go? He's alive. He's alive. Is that possible? Sir? Because worms have 10 hearts, supposedly. That's what we always said growing up. I think that's a myth, though. So my question to you is, or my answer to you, I guess, would be, I have no idea. All right, Timmy, like I said, they're down there where the water comes in, but don't get too close because we don't want to spook them, at least not yet anyway. Deal? Deal. The cool thing is, too, are you hiding? Being stealthy, stealth approach. Cool thing is you might accidentally catch a giant bass here too. I've done that twice. All right, here we go. Bro. You already got one? Yeah. Dude, perfection. It's that simple, he says. We'll keep him? Yep, we'll keep that guy. Let me see what you got. You got just your, your typical bluegill. That's actually a decent little size. Strong work, man. And you still got your crawler. And we're nice and tangled now. Pull. There we go. All right, let me get this. We're going to keep these guys alive. We got our little aerator guy. Little bubble creator. Okay, fine. Go catch more. Don't let your old man catch any. All right, you're in trouble now. You're in trouble now. I'm here. Oh, God. You already got another one? Perfect. It's that easy. It's that easy, huh? All right, add that two bluegills to the pot. That's kind of a cool looking dude. We want to catch as small as possible. There we go. Oh, God. What do we got here? This dude's big. Look at this guy. Oh no! We wanted that one. He flopped out? We might have to put that lid on there. Obviously. Dude, that one I just had was big. He would have been so cool. Damn. He's still breathing. He's alive. Thanks, bud. He's dying. He's dying. He's dying. He's dying. He jumped out. All right. We're going lid. A little bit of a lid situation. Sweet. Why, Max? Let's hear it. The mass, the mass of the fish quickly popped in, and then it's the. Dude, these are big. Made the thing shoot up. And pretty. All right, the mass of the what? Will you open that tank for me? Yeah. That guy is so it cool looking. Something hit me. <laughs> yeah, water. I think I figured out where the big ones are. They're like kind of out further behind. This is getting ridiculous. We want to catch smaller ones. I'm going to start letting, unless they're like big, real big, we're going to start letting these guys go. For those of you guys that like want to get started fishing or take a kid to do this, yeah, let's, let's throw that size back, okay? But like take them off the hook like a human being. Okay. But I'm using like 
Little, okay, I about wore that in the damn eyeball. All right, like I'm saying, uh, always make sure you're being careful, especially when you take a kid. You gotta watch out for yourself, but that's all you need, a little tiny hook, little itty bitty rod and reel. I got braided line, really doesn't matter. Never taken a hook out before or what, Chief? We need to catch small ones, we can't catch small ones. You think you can? Don't be scaring them. What did I say about walking down close there? <laughs> I'm just kidding. How are you not spooking them? You're literally, that's, oh God, what'd you get? Dude, I saw a freaking crappie. How have we caught only bluegills so far? There we go, this one's a little smaller. There we go. And throw that one back, bud. Really thought we'd catch smaller ones than this, but these actually be kind of cool. Cool school of fish out there. See the surface over there? Oh God. There we go. Little guy. I got the nest. Oh, these are gonna be good. There's a baby guy. Look at that dude. Boom. Be whom. For those of you watching and wondering and being like, well, you guys are poaching all the fish. There's literally hundreds right here and the daily limit is like 10 a person. Maybe it's more than that. It's at least 10 though. And we're not gonna keep probably even 15. Clearly there's a billion. There's actually schools of them out there further than we can cast with our little weightless worms. Got enough worm on there? Oh my God, I have the smallest piece of worm. We have little baby worm pieces on. I wonder if they'll eat this small worm. I bet they will, cause they eat like flies and stuff. Yep, that guy liked it. Little baby guy. Killing the game, bud. Boom. I got a medium sized one. This one's going back. No mediums allowed. Just extra smalls and extra bigs. Whoops. Sorry, dude. Oh, what do we got here? We're not taking that one home. What is that? Crappy. Bass. <laughs> You're close. Oh, he's gone. See ya. Little baby bass guy. Those are catch and release. Maybe they're 21 inch length limit. I don't know, but regardless, he was a hair small. See how fast we can catch one? Got one? Over and over and over and over. We need to start taking some of these guys out too, probably. Back out, back in we go. Another one. Oh, that's a big one. That's Frank the Tank. Look at that guy. That's like a pumpkin seed hybrid. That's cool. That's one of the big ones that I said we need. Super cool. That's pet status right there. So many mediums in the world today. Big one. Big one. This guy's been through some stuff. Look at this dude. Something tried to eat him. He's got a chunk out of his back. Did you catch one? Dude, we doubled. Let's keep those two and get out of here. Deal? There's our little pet guys slash food guys. We need to get them into some bigger tanks. Hey, you did good. How many did you catch? Four, five, I forgot. We've been here for like 10 minutes, right? Right. All right, we got a short little drive to the next destination. And we're gonna do some fun things with those guys right there. Fun for, for some of them. Probably not very fun for a couple of the other ones, but I think you guys will like it. Look who we found! Oh, hey. Let's, kill, let's kill some stuff. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Uh, you want to know how you can tell she's been eating? How? Right. Oh, oh, yeah. What is that? A crawfish of a crawdad. I don't know if you guys can see me, hopefully you can a little bit. I'm sure you can, probably now, but yeah, we're over here at uh, Zach from SC Fish Keeping's house. Um, there's our giant gargantuan northern strain largemouth bass. We didn't weigh him, but we're thinking probably close to five and a half to six pounds on that guy. We named her? We named her. Let's there hear it. an overwhelming boat for Gillikin. Gillikin. So I'm calling her Gilly. Done. Gilly? Yep. Gillikin crankbait, we caught him on. So that's Gilly, named after Gillikin. Crankbait. So we have Millie Ken. Yep. Gilly. And Gilly Ken. <laughs> so we 
got these guys here, which actually survived. This is terrible video because you can't see any of them, but they're in there. And you said what? We're gonna put some in here. Yep. We're gonna, we'll see if the bass will eat them. And then we're gonna go feed them to some other creatures. And if they don't eat them or we have leftover ones. Fish. Max is feeding the lungfish. Max wants to feed the lungfish, the big weird eel looking one from last time. But we kind of want to see if that big girl will eat yet. You said she's been a little bashful so far. She's a little, so. she's a little camera shy. She's eating. She's eating. Yeah, yeah. Just not on and camera. I did, I, I did catch her eating a crawfish, so. Sweet. You gonna put one in there? Can we just go for it? Right. Let her rip. What's up, Lugilis? You wanna feed one? For, yeah, for now. Give her attention. See her. her they kind of kind of flared over there. Toss it for her. Yeah, toss it with She's engaging. She's looking at it. She's looking at it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Get it. Get it. One way we go. I don't think she likes when it came over by us. Yeah, when we were standing over, she goes. Max was sprinting, there she goes. Oh, she's gonna get in. too for like study purposes that you always see those pictures where it's like a minnow uh, a little group of minnows in an empty tank pool whatever and they're all scattered around then you have like you put a piece of shade over part of it they all go to that you put some rocks in a part of it they all go over to that and that's exactly what she does she spends almost all of her time over there in that hard gravel area the rest is there except for the sand of course yeah I'm slowly adding the rest of the sand to kind of get her used to yeah, yeah. And then we'll do some things like cover like rocks and driftwood and stuff. So that way we can get it. It's about to get bad for you, fish. We got a angry and an angrier. Largemouth was being a little bit bashful right now, so we're downstairs to the small mouse. That's the bigger one. Can that's the smaller one from Millie. It's crazy. Super super aggressive. I think those guys will eat the gills. Oh yeah. We might try some other stuff too. I think Max. Should we toss them one? Yeah. So, two of those, two, are going to Milo. Yep. Milo, you eat bluegill? Nope, see ya. Oh. He's off in his grill in the spot. That's a bad place for that bluegill to be. Oh, might happen. That's a big gill though for a smallmouth to get out. I'm kind of thinking with him. I feel like he'd be over oh, biting him. If he picks up speed, the small mouth could just go off on him. I don't think she can fit that in her mouth. Thought about it. Those are the little guys in there. Oh, he likes minnows apparently. Oh, yeah. We'll take down. Small baits for small mouse. Throw them in. You know, you don't throw something this this tasty. Watch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the yeah, he still wants some minnows, doesn't he? But... I got him. Oh my god, it's so fast. Out in, out in. Yeah, go backwards. It'll be okay.
Dispatcher. Oh, he's gonna do it. Scared, Max? No. Good. Just leave it in front of his face. Put, that, put it in his eyes. Put it right in front of him, right there. Look at him. <laughs> he, he did. He wasn't nearly as scared. He didn't hear about the teeth. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> Scare him? Yeah. Good. Alright, the smallmouth were also bashful to the bluegill. They're a little bit big for them, but over time the smallmouth will take those out. They've already killed multiple bluegill. Anyways, um, we're going to release these bluegill that we caught in the pond for now. Uh, and that giant large mouth is going to get even bigger by eating them. Max, we release them. For now, they are our pets. Just for now, though. We're <laughs> done! Sort of. Next soft foam insulation. They do. And then we got the camera down there. That guy's going to destroy them. So you're going to have to watch his channel. Yeah. And watch that kill all those. Because next time we come here, they probably won't exist. Okay, and my first just got back home. I'm not sure why the damn bass fish didn't want to eat. I think the, the big large mouth is timid. The small mouth, those, those bluegill were a little too big for them. So we got some new pets now. If you guys like the micro fishing, the pet fishing type stuff and going over to Zach's house, I'd love if you go hit the subscribe button because much more to come on that. Look at this, I just got this here today too. We got this tool right here, this nice belt sander. Got that right over there, do some cutting. And I'm not gonna tell you what's coming next, but we got this guy, that guy laying there. We got a little surprise over there on the shelf. That's what I've been working on all day today. Got some, uh, a totally different type of video coming up very, very soon. But thanks so much for watching this one, MFers. Catch you very soon.